All right, hello everyone. We're recording live from class. What's today, the 16th? Uh, we're looking at our MANOVA project. And here is our SPSS data. So I used the cut and paste operation out of the Word document, which the, uh, where the document is. And I just went to the upper right cell. I hit Control V to paste in my scores. I understand this may not work for some people, in which case, you could at worst type in the scores all by hand. Uh, once you have all your scores entered, you're going to see up here at the top var 1, var 2, var 3, var 4. So the next thing I did is I went to the variable view. And under the variable view, I edited these names to match what the original column titles were. Group, usefulness, difficulty, and importance. Um, the next thing I did is I changed the type. It was defaulting to a string type. So if you click on this window, I just moved the radial button from string up to numeric and pressed OK. I did that for all four of these. And then under the measure, I set the top one, which is the factor, to the nominal type. And I set the other three to the scale type. So once we have um, all of our settings correct, we want to run our MANOVA. So we'll go to Analyze, General Linear Model, Multivariate. I need to move the fixed factor. It'll start out over here on the left. I need to move it over into the fixed factor. And these three things, usefulness, difficulty, and importance, I don't think the order matters so much here. It'll only matter in terms of what order they show up into the report. So these are your three dependent variables, your one fixed factor. Um, I would suggest that you look at the options that are available to you in these buttons on the right. Uh, in particular, you're probably going to want to look at a post hoc analysis. So I'm going to take that fixed factor, which is the group, and move it over into the post hoc list, and then tell it that I want to run a two key test. Uh, you could also use a Sheffy test if you want. Those are the two that are most common. Uh, you say continue. Uh, you could also opt to look at the descriptive statistics, either overall or for the group or for both. This is where you'd set your alpha level. They didn't specify one for our MANOVA project. So we'll just leave it at the default, which is 0 0.05. So when everything is to your liking in this multivariate window, you'll press OK. And here is your output window. So in the output window, you have uh, several tables. Uh, if you wanted to, uh, you can double click on these to activate them. Or you can right click and copy them if you wanted to paste them into a Word document for your MANOVA report. Uh, here we see something that uh, we didn't talk about before, which is the descriptive statistic. This shows you that for the usefulness variable, this is the mean for group one, the mean for group two, and the mean for group three, and then the total mean. And what we're testing is whether there's a significant difference between these means. There is some difference, but is that difference significant? And then we're testing whether there's a significant difference between these means and whether there's a significant difference between these means. When you're looking at the results of the MANOVA, you want to go to the tests of between subjects effects, and you want to go to the group row. And here we'll find our three dependent variables, usefulness, difficulty, and importance. And we'll examine the SIG values, the p-value. If the p-value is low, reject the null hypothesis. So 0 0.540 is not less than 0 0.05. 0 0.879 is not less than 0 0.05. 0 0.036 is less than 0 0.05. So we've noticed an effect in the importance variable based upon the group factor. And with that, I will stop our recording.